Hi, I'm Sharon Tang and you're watching Making the Call. CIMB's Indonesian unit says 3Q net profit rebounded 375% quarter-on-quarter, but it wasn't enough to push it into black. Net profit at CIMB Niaga for the first nine months of FY15 still down 88.5%. That's as provision expenses surged while margins shrank. Now, Indonesia is a key market for CIMB. At its peak, it was contributing 30% to the group's pre-tax profit. Last year, it was down to 19%. This year, less than 5 One of the major reasons why Niaga is struggling is because of its high exposure to the commodities sector. Provisions have been high, especially in the coal and coal-related sector. Maybank IB Research says Niaga's nine-month results make up just 46% of its full-year forecast. Credit costs still high and if not for the sale of bad loans to an SPV, the bank's gross NPR ratio would have risen to 6.7% quarter-on-quarter from 5.7% at the end of June. Special mention loans ratio also up, jumping 8.3% from 6.1% the previous quarter. As a whole, for CIMB Group target price 490, down from 560. Going forward, however, could be a different story. Afin Huang Capital expecting a steadier outlook, underpinned by the annual cost savings of 400 billion rupiah from the MSS exercise. Hefty credit costs also to ease from 2016, and the sale of those bad loans should ease Niaga's NPL level. It's a buy for the group target price unchanged at 5 ringgit 90 sen. Hong Leong IB, meanwhile, keeping neutral on the stock. It notes that the net interest margin has improved to 5.2% in 3Q from 5.08% in the previous quarter. Now, moving into FY16, that's going to remain under pressure given its expectations of a lower lending yield, plans to increase deposit growth as well as the slow economic activities in Indonesia. Now, the group is going to announce its results next month. Until then, Hong Leong is keeping its whole call on TIMB target price 5 ringgit 52 and that's all we have for Making the Call. I'm Sharon Tang. Thanks for watching.